Hey guys, I have had these cards over on my windowsill in my stamp room for I think about four months because I wanted to make a video on how I made them. Um, my life is a little crazy in the fall with my kids and their sports and things like that. So I finally found an opportunity today to try and do it. So here we go. Um, my husband gave me this card for Valentine's Day. I love Snoopy and Woodstock. And the way this was this, I loved this. And so obviously I got this in February and I was like, oh, I wish there was a way I could do that. And then when the new catalog started, it came out with new dies, which I'll show them to you in here, right here, the basic borders. And I'll show you them too. And when I saw the scalloped one, which is what I'm using on two of these, um, this right here, I was like, oh, I could use that to make it. And so these are the, the tags, but these right here are all the border tags, or I'm sorry, the border dies. Um, you could, obviously I use that on these two cards, um, but you could even try using some of the other ones too to do that kind of um, edge on there. So here's this one open. I love this stamp set. Um, I got all the stamp sets over here. Try not to make everything crash. Uh, Count on me, that's what all these cute little animals are from. Um, the sun is from sharing sunshine. The clouds are from the give it a whirl dies right here. And the trees are from the from all of us stamp set. And that's what I used on the outside of this. Okay. And then on this one, open that one for you. Um, the stamps I used on it, trying to lay it on top of this one does not like to close. <laughs> all the way this one does but um so what i used for all of this was the stellar birthday that's what i did the astronauts and the, and the puppy and the rocket ship the stars are also from give it a world dies that's what i did all those with was right here it's from give it a whirl and the moon i used from the to the moon this one right here okay so that's what did here and that's what shows through the opening is right there this this one you could you could have it open either way or closed either way this one I made it so that really this is the way to close it because obviously if you close it this way you cover him her whatever up so but you can and I will tell you when you start die cutting these which is what I'm going to show you how to do when you start doing the these edges they are always going to look different you're never going to get to be the same and i'll even show you a stash of mine on how i finally got this right i kept them they need to be in the trash but i kept them to show you that and then this one this is obviously from celebration this, the sheep so that's not available anymore i'm sure a lot of you already have it and this is also a gate um, a gate card but this one's really easy so i'll show you how to to do all three of these how i did it and um, and then if you go to my website, you'll be able to see all the supplies I used. I even typed them up because I used so many. <laughs> so you'll be able to see all the supplies I used for those cards. Um, but we're not. I'm not going to show you how I did the backgrounds or anything. But I can link you to another video showing you how I do this kind of background. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with these the, for this one, and I'll and I like I said, I'll show you how to do this one too. This one's really easy. Um, this paper right here, the the size is six by twelve, six by twelve inches. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to score it and how we do this. Um, Stampin' Up does sell twelve by twelve paper. They sell it in every color, but for I don't even have my cattle. Oh, yeah, I did. Let's see. Let's see if I can get to it. I should have marked it, but I didn't. He, uh, 
here is the 12 by 12 in all the different colors for brights, neutrals, regals, subtles. Um, you get two of each color in the 12 by 12 pack of those for the white. And let's see if I can find it. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. I was right at it. Here's 12 by 12 in basic white and very vanilla. You get 12 sheets of it. It's all basic white or all very vanilla. So um, I always order some of those in case you want to make bigger cards or lots of reasons. Okay, so here is 12 by 12. And since both of these are 6 by 12, actually that one's a little smaller. Yeah. We'll just, I'll just show you this one. I can show you on the other one too, but all right. So I'm going to line it up at six. Okay. Set that off to the side. Start it in. Okay. So you see here where it goes edge to edge, you can see that's the original size it was okay so now I'm going to score it four inches from each side. So here's four, here's eight. So four inches from each side. It, it doesn't fold all the way down because it's overlapping it, you know, three, three layers of paper here. So, but that's okay because we're going to be cutting it so it lays a little on top of each other, a little easier. Okay, move this out of the way and then I'll show you. Actually, I want to show you all my shrapnel from <laughs> trying to learn how to do this, and then I'll show you how, how I do it. Okay, <laughs> so this is all the paper that I used trying to figure out how I wanted this to look. What I did was I used a lot of, like, paper that we don't carry, that Stampin' Up! doesn't carry anymore. This is Tempting Turquoise, retired, I don't know, like 10 years ago. It's really pretty. Um, but I still have lots of paper, you know, that, that they don't have anymore. And I, a lot of times I keep it for that reason so that I can use it to try something. Um, this one, I, I did it the way I wanted to up here, except I did not have a window big enough. Like I did on this one, I wanted it to be bigger. So, and then, yeah. These right here, okay, this side, okay, cool. And then this side, I did the die the wrong way. Um, obviously, if you want these to come out, almost look like they look like clouds or something, you do it this way. To do it this way, I lined it up like this. I didn't mean to, but that's how I lined it up, was like that. <laughs> so that's, that's not how I wanted it to look. You may want that for something else, I don't know. But um, like I said, so lots of stuff here. I need to probably cut quite a bit of it because obviously there's still paper I can use for, for other things. See, I did the same thing on this one, did it the wrong way. Um, but I had that all sitting in a little space because I wanted to um, show everybody how I came, how I finally got to the right place on this. I'm sure there are a lot of people who who are like, oh, I want, I want a card that looks like the one my husband got me. And they're like, boop, do it. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. Not at all. Okay. So this is a, one of our triangle dies. And that's how I finally 
that I finally came up with an idea. If I use the triangle die and make a mark on each side, that's about the size I want to be shown to be open. So that's why I use this. So here we go, we got this right here. I'm gonna do the one that's on the right side first. Just use a pencil. Oh, there's my dog barking. Sorry about that. I just do a little line on it. Oh, well, look at that, it didn't even show up. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. There we go. Just do a little line just about where I want it to be. Okay, and then this is the left side. And you want it coming down. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna pause it so that you don't have to keep hearing that. Okay, sorry. The delivery was made. Try not to tell my dog to not bark when somebody comes to the front door, you know, because maybe somebody that you don't want at your front door. I don't know. I mean, but anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't want to hear it. Okay, so they're using the triangle die. I did one there and I did one over here. So, all right. Again, do not do it like this or you're gonna have it look, let's see. You're gonna have it end up looking like this. You want it this way because this is the part that comes off this is the part that stays on, so you want the circles like that. All right, I'm just gonna, a lot of times, I know y'all don't have this, but if I want it to look exactly like this one, you can line it up like that. Okay, so I went, obviously that comes down to there, but you just sort of want, it's not maybe where you wanna actually cut it, um, but the direction, you know, that and I like to have the one on the top, especially to know where you want that to start. Okay, when you're putting six foot, six foot, <laughs> six inches wide paper through your machine, you wanna line it up perfectly or say like it's, oh no, what? It can, if it's hanging off the edge, it gets smushed when you run it through there. This will cut off the top of it, but it's not doing the bottom of it because it's it's not wide and this isn't wide enough to do it all that way. But see, it's almost there. Okay, now we're gonna do this side. What I, I just like to do is I like to have it as near to the edges as possible. Um, that way you're not, I mean, with some of them I've done it, let's see, well, I'll show you in a second. But I like to have the edges as near to the edges of the paper as possible. Um, and I use, oh, sorry, I use this matte finish removal tape to hold that thing down. You want it to have, it to be removable because you don't want to tape something down on your paper and then when you peel it off, it rips. See, when you take it off, it doesn't hurt it. Okay. All right, so then you get your scissors. Cut it off. Okay. And then, if you can see this. All right, let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's a little smaller. It's 
a little smaller, but not too, too small. I, like I was telling, I think, I think I said, um, that you're, it's never going to look the same when you do it again. I mean, I could have lined up the other side. Let's see. I did this side fine. Maybe let's see how this side compares to that side. Yeah, see, I could have done it. I could have done it a little more down and it would have made it a little bigger. Um, but I'm, you know, I think I would be okay. And then I erase my pencil lines. And hey, listen, whenever you use a pencil, do not use the eraser that's on the pencils. Those erasers are terrible and they make, they don't erase all the way and they make a mess. Like, well, I shouldn't say make a mess. All erasers make a mess, but they just, they don't, they just kind of smear the pencil line everywhere. You got to get like a good eraser. This is this kind. And that's what I use for that maybe have it has some adhesive on there but I can get that off so okay so that's how you do that I wanted this one to have just like the one my husband got me how it's it's straight on the bottom and that's how this one is it's straight on the bottom okay so that's how we did this one um, move all my stuff out of the way here uh, let's see I just wish I had, like, I thought I had another one of those moons sitting somewhere. But here, I know. Let's see. You'll definitely be able to see the moon behind it, but let's see with this one. Yeah, you could still see the rocket. So this one would still work, even if I was making this exact same card. Like I said, it would look a little different, but it would still be good. Okay, so then I'm gonna show you how to do the other one, this one right here. It's a different size, so I'll show you that next. Okay, and I wanted to show you how I did some of the other ones. This one I made actually made making this video and then I, I cut it wrong so it didn't have the edges that I want. They, I mean, they were like, di I, I don't know too in too short whereas like this one see it's like it's like this one and that's how I wanted it to look and I just I did it wrong so there you go everybody makes mistakes but I didn't throw it away because you oh let's look at that I was going not to make those things go in the wrong way you can put this on here again it doesn't come out perfect but you can make it s the scallop edge all the way oh gosh had it lined up and everything and then it moved over right here let's do this okay and then this is tricky um getting it through your machine because oh my gosh okay Okay, got it on there. You don't want to run this through because look at how my paper is. If I try to run it all the way through, it's gonna you know, get caught on both sides and it doesn't look pretty. It does that. I just get it through there and back it out. So see, it, if I had tried a little harder and spent more time on it, it would be okay. But see, it doesn't look terrible. 
you just end up doing that. And then let's see if I can do it to this without. one's going to be closed because see that's going to come up to the edge of it but I, oh look at that so close there we go so then you could have it like that where it's scalloped all the way down so either side can be up let's take the Okay, so that's another way to do it where you can even on this size which I'm going to show you this one is scalloped all the way down but you could just you can add it back you can run it through again with it on there you're gonna get some that don't look perfect um, but nobody's gonna notice that especially if you color the whole thing like I did on mine so there you go that's how you could do that looks a little different than that one, but it still looks good. Okay. So I wanted to show you that. All right, let me clean this up. Then I am going to show you how to do this one. Okay. So this card is four and a quarter by 11. Okay. So that is half of this paper of an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Good grief. I just have stuff everywhere. Okay. So we're going to do this at four and a quarter. And then we score it at three inches on each side. So that, since it's 11 inches long, do it at, I like this side better, three and then eight because that's three inches. Okay. And you're gonna see this one ends up a little different. It overlaps um, not all the way and it's not right in the middle. Okay. Now this card, if I show you, because I kept this part, I had started it at a, at a different size. I had started it at, what is this? That's fantastic. I usually write it, this stuff down. So, as you see, it's four and a quarter now. It was six, it was six by 11. And then when I did the border on it, it was this size. And just based on envelopes, I'd have to get a really big envelope to put this in. And then plus when I decided what I wanted inside of it, what kind of image I wanted to have here, it was too tall if it was this size. So I just cut that off and made it this size. But again, that's that's what's cool about using this is you can make cards all different sizes. You just have to <sighs> practice like I do, or you may just be really good <laughs> at stuff like that, and you don't have to you don't have to practice. All right, so again, use my triangle, and I just want it towards the middle. Okay, so that's going to cut there. I 
think I can just do, yeah, I just leave it on the same place and doesn't like to, okay. So you're still gonna have a little bit of an overlap, but not a ton, okay. Gives you about, as you can see here, it's about equal on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna do what we just did. Bring my machine back over. Okay. And once again, I could do this, line it up. And again, because of this part, you, it would line it up to like here because I had done this top part with it. Uh, this way. So you can see when I put this on there, here it was the whole thing. And then I did an extra one like I showed you with that one I just did a second ago. But for this one, I just wanna do it one time it's gonna it's gonna come out a little different than this one, but yeah, this one's gonna end up looking a little different, but we'll see how it turns out. See what happens. I guess what I'm telling you is if when if you're just practicing on a piece of paper and you really love how that one came out, use that as your template. Like I have shown you how, like when I take it and I line it up, I'll take this out of there. But if you've got one that you really like and you're like, okay, I want to make that one a million times, you line it up. You know, you lay this on. Oh my gosh, you guys, look what I just did. <laughs> I've been telling you not to do that, and look what I just did. Okay. Oh. Fantastic. Been giving you so many things about don't do that. This is going to make it a really big opening. See, I'm trying to do this so fast, I messed it up. There we go. Yeah, okay. That's not great because that's, that's a really big opening. Let's see. And that was still on there. That, it's still kind of a big opening. But anyway, what I, I to go back what I'm saying, sorry, I'm just all over the place. Um, if you make one and you like it, you wanna just like I was doing, especially with this one, is line line it up. You have your paper ready to cut and everything just line it up on this on your pa on your paper that you're die cutting tape it down or whatever and then remove that and then you'll end up making them some you know pretty much the same that would still be kind of cool you could do like a tree and then you open it and you could have little animals standing all around the tree so I mean that I mean I don't throw this stuff away but here I'll get another one and I'll start over okay Here's another one, and what I realized for this one, I do not want it going all the way down because it's not as uh, obviously as tall as the other card. So you don't want if I, I and I when I color when I put the pencil there, I did it all the way down. But I just really want 
like this, you know, I want it equal, but I don't want the whole triangle on there because I don't want the opening to be as long. That's why I did. I cannot believe I did that after I was giving you guys lectures about not doing it that way. There you go. You make it 400 times, you're still going to make a mistake. No, I want it all the way down. But I don't want it. I want the thing to go all the way to the to the bottom of it, but I don't want the opening to be too big. <clears throat> My dog that you heard barking, she keeps coming over here and looking at me because I have a feeling she wants to go outside. So I can do it like this, then I can see where the opening is going to be. Okay. So I'm not, oh, you know, she just came to my stamp room and got in her bed. If you ever look at the pictures of my stamp room, you'll see her bed and you'll see her in a lot of the pictures because she is always in here with me. Okay. So like that. You know, if I had made this video back when I made these cards, it would probably be a little different. But again, like I was telling you, it's been on my windowsill for like four months. So. one could actually be it's sort of <laughs> crooked oh my gosh here we'll do it like this where those get the same ones and then I'll see lines I didn't run it through fast uh, far enough I 
That's a little better. Okay, well, I am sorry for that. You know, I'm probably gonna keep it this way so you can see that we're not all, you know, <laughs> perfect in every time we make something. I had actually made this one when I was deciding to make the uh, video because it had just been so long since I made those cards. So this one, I, I was a little better at it. This is uh, not too, too bad. I probably would um, want to redo it. But as you can see, it just takes some practicing and um, I don't know why all of that keeps showing up. I wonder if there's something on this that I need to, I don't feel anything. Anyway, so I mean, it, it still, it still looks good. I mean, the thing is, is that it's not always going to be perfect. I mean, this, I ended up, it, it looked, you know, somewhat perfect. This would still be so cute if you had, um, I, don't know, I wish I could show, you know, it would be, he would still be in there and you'd see more of the sun. So that would still be cute. It's never going to look bad. Um, well, you know, I'm sorry, it can look bad, but you know, this would still be okay. Or, you know, how, yeah, it would still be okay. But like I was telling you before, it's just never going to be the same. Here, I'm trying to fold this. See, so you would still have some of this background showing, like some of the clouds actually showing. So that would still be, that's still cute. So anyway, I wanted to show you how to use the scallop on the edges. It's, you know, honestly, if you, when you start doing it, when, like I was, like how I was doing, you're going to go through some, maybe, I don't know, you might be way better at this than I am. <laughs> Um, I'm sure there are plenty of people who are way better at this than I am, but it takes, it might take a little practice. Okay. So then I was just going to show you, oh, I don't need this anymore. I was just going to show you the, the card that has the sheep on it, which you can't get anymore, but it was a very, very popular, um, celebration item. So I'm sure that. A lot of you do have it. Don't need any of this stuff. Okay, get me a piece of paper. Okay, let me just clean this all up and then I'll show you that one. It's really easy and it doesn't take long. Okay, the size of this one is five and a half by 12. So this is already 12. So I'm just going to change it from six to five and a half. Just take a half an inch off, okay? Don't need this. We are going to score this. Well, I thought I organized everything. Oh, here it is. We're going to score it at four and eight, the same way we did the astronaut card. Okay, then actually I do need my trimmer. Okay, so here's your score lines. You want to cut from the top of your score line the corner. So 
So here's the, cor the, the bottom corner from the, stop, from the top of the scored line to the bottom corner, okay? Okay, and you're gonna do that on this side, on the other side too. Top of the scored line, this is the top of your car, this is the bottom, to the bottom corner. Okay, so that's a lot easier than the other ones I just made, but there you go, that's, that's how you do this one. And um, for this one, I, you know, I did the same sort of background as I did this one, I made it a little darker um, the colors used for the background on, on these two, they're both the same, I think. Um, they are Balmy Blue, Pool, pool Party, Granny Apple Green, and, and for the, that's the background. So Balmy Blue and Pool Party on the top, and then Granny Apple Green on the bottom. This one, I didn't do the back. I obviously, I need to. Um, this one, I did do the back. I did, because you're showing the front too. So you might as well do all of it. Um, so that that's, that's easy, just with the blending brushes. And then for the astronauts, let's see. And if you look for my video on the Moon Witch, and I show you how I made the background. I use the exact same colors in the same way for this one. Um, so you can look for that one. It's called Moon Witch. Um, and I show you how I use the blending brushes to make this background. This one I used Mango Melody, Gorgeous Grape, Green Apple Green, Polished Pink, and Night of Navy. That's how I do that. And I did it on both sides all the way. So that's how I make a, here I'll show you my, This is my, my Moon Witch card that I showed in the video. So you can see they're similar. And again, you are there. It's kind of the same as die cutting with this, the border dies. You're not always gonna have it look exactly the same. When you're using your blending brushes to make a background, um, background colors, you know, like if for that and for this, it's never gonna look the same, but it looks similar. So if you look for the video on this, you'll see how I did it. And then that's how I did this one too, just with different colors. Okay, so <laughs> I'm really proud of myself for messing up so many things, but hey, you know, that's, I mean, I'm assuming most people are like that. Um, you make mistakes and that's, you know, and like I said, I keep a lot of the paper, you know, I'll keep it and, use it for something else and like this one let's see where to go yeah this is the one that i cut the edges different so i just added the um the die back on there and did it did them scalloped all the way so that looks different than this one but i mean i I'm, I'm gonna keep it i don't know what i'm gonna put on this card yet but i'm you know i'll i'll do something with it and um so you know even if it comes out different or something you can always use it for something even if you don't use it as a card, don't throw that away. You got lots of paper here that you can use for stamping and die cutting or punching or whatever. So anyway, I had, I had these are fun to make. Um, again, if you are similar to me and it's gonna take some practice, um, maybe just get out some old paper or some paper you use in a printer or something, just something to try and, and work your way through it, you know? Um, uh, that, that's what I did. I just did it with paper that Stampin' Up! doesn't sell anymore. Um, but, you know, to just get some practice on it. But it's it's really cute. And, I mean, this one, obviously, I put this in here so you could write a message on this. This one, you could write it here. Or for any of them, you could just write on the back. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed and didn't laugh at me too hard. Have a great day.